Whatever you're doing, wherever you are, never stop breathing. Whether you're playing football, out for a relaxing country walk, or having a nice little nap. In fact, you breathe 20,000 times a day. And you don't even have to think about it. Your body does it automatically. But from time to time, people can have problems with their breathing. And this can be due to a condition called asthma. Asthma is a very common lung condition. You might even have it yourself. Every time you breathe, air travels down your windpipe and into your bronchi, the tubes that carry the air in and out of your lungs. But if someone has asthma, their bronchi can swell and become narrow, which causes wheezing and can lead to an asthma attack. Over a million kids in the UK have asthma. You probably know someone with it yourself. And today, I'm going to the asthma clinic at the Evelina London Children's Hospital to find out more. And this is how I get to the clinic. Ah! In for a regular checkup is 10-year-old James. To weigh you and mm. see how tall you are. A year ago, his asthma was so bad he was hospitalised and ended up in intensive care. But now the condition is being managed at the asthma clinic. You show me how you do it at home, okay? Okay. Nurse Carol wants to make sure James is using his inhaler properly. It delivers medicine straight to the lungs where it's needed. Wonderful. And James has two inhalers. A purple one, which reduces swelling in the airways to prevent an asthma attack, and a blue one, which calms any swelling and allows air through even if an attack is already happening. Ready for James is Dr Jane Herity. She wants to find out if his medication is doing its job. And does your asthma stop you doing anything that you, that all your friends can do? No. You can run around and you're as yeah. fast as they are at running around. Mm. Good. That's what we're aiming for. To get a proper look at how James lungs are working, Dr. Jane uses this special machine called a spirometer. So what does this machine do? So it's measuring how big a breath he's taking in and how quickly he can blow that air out and it shows as if his airways are narrowed. There we go. Let's see if this little boy can blow his petals off the flower for me. So big breath in. And blow out as hard and as fast as you can. Go, 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 go. Excellent look. Nice big rainbow. Well done. And how do James's results look? They're excellent. And it shows his, his lungs are good and he's taking his inhalers, which is what we want. It's a great result for James, and there's even better news to come. Your lung function tests are good and you're not getting any asthma symptoms, so I think we can actually reduce down your inhalers a little bit. So we're going to get you to take one puff in the morning and one puff in the evening, so halving mm. your medicines, but still taking them regularly. So is that good news? Yeah, that's good news. Okay. See you soon. Thank you. Thank you. Bye-bye. Some people grow out of asthma, while others have it forever. But with treatments now available, it doesn't have to impact your life. Asthma is actually the most common long-term health problem that people in the UK have. But as we've seen today, it can actually be really well managed with regular checkups and the right medication. <laughs>